is the Rastafarian uh, God or the Rasta God who is called Jah is it the same as the Christian God you see Rastafarianism or Rastafari like uh, it's always called or Rasta is a religious movement which um, originated from Jamaica in the 19 around 1930s and uh, Rastafarianism takes elements of the Bible and combines them with the ideology of um, Marcus Gavi and the belief that Haile Selassie, Haile Selassie uh, I, who was the emperor of Ethiopia between uh, 1930 and uh, 1975, that uh, he was the second advent of the Messiah. Therefore, Rastafarians believe that Emperor Haile Selassie was God. Now, Rasta takes the name, uh, the term for God, Jah, from the King James Version translation of um, Psalms 68 verse 4, which says, Sing unto God, sing praises to his name, extol him, and uh, him that rided upon the heavens by his name, Jah, and rejoice before him. Okay? Now, the name for God in this verse is a shortened version of the Tetragrammaton. Okay? This Tetragrammaton. Uh, uh, which is usually transliterated as Yahweh or Jehovah, okay? Or also translated Lord, also as we see in the book of uh, Psalms 68.4, okay? Psalms 68 verses 4. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name, extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Jah, and rejoice before him. Okay, is a tetragrammaton on the same, okay? Transliter uh, uh, rating, eh? Transliteration. <laughs> it's a very hard word to to mention that eh? and uh, of course the King James Version translators chose to transliterate the word Jah okay the word Jah instead so the name is certainly a biblical name for God however a group's use of a biblical name for God does not guarantee that the group is biblical okay just because rastas apply a biblical name to their god does not mean that they are worshiping the god of the bible different individuals may be named george for example but it doesn't mean that they are all the same person you see the god rastas referred to as Jah is not triune is not Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit is not triune and he does not provide eternal salvation neither did the man that they claim that they claim to have returned to have returned this man Haile Selassie has not ruled the, the whole earth, like the Bible says, and uh, has not brought perfect peace to the world, because the Bible says in Isaiah 9, 7, Isaiah uh, 9, verse 7, it says, Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David, upon his kingdom 
to order it, to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. So the religious practices of uh, the Rastafaris or the Rastafari, Rasta religion while being drawn from Jewish and Christian origins are not what God commands or desires for his people. And the jar, okay, the jar of the Rastafaris, Rastafarianism, is most certainly not the God of the Bible whom the Christians put their trust for salvation. So as you follow them, as you follow this religion, understand that you're worshipping another different God. Like I said, being called George does not mean all George in the world are the same. You can have the name people say Jesus, but they even footballers called Jesus. So you have to ask yourself, which God am I worshipping? The true God of the Bible is the one who died for your sins. Is the one who laid his life for your sins 2,000 years ago. And he was uh, buried and he rose again as it is written in the scriptures. And he did all this so that he can be able to save you. Because while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Please believe this God of the Bible. And uh, give your life to him. Because only through Jesus you can be able to be redeemed. All you need to do is just understand what Jesus did and why he had to do it. And then you confess it to God by prayer. You tell him, Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins. You are buried and you rose again as it's written in the scriptures. I believe you now. I understand and I believe and I receive the atonement that you shed, that you gave for me. And once you do that, brothers and sisters, you're saved. Before you believe any religion, do a research about who they are. Hope this has been a blessing to you. Hope uh, it has edified you. If you like this video, please give it, uh, give it a thumbs up. And also you can subscribe to watch more. And also share to your friends so that they can also understand the truth of the gospel. God bless you and have a great time.